is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So today is an exciting day because we'll be picking up a new car. Before I know what you guys say, hold up, not for me. It's a new car for my brother. So let's go ahead and head over to the family house, pick him up and talk more about it. And we'll be taking the new to me 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art. This is my daily driver now, if you guys didn't know. And my brother rode along in this car once. I did some pulls in it, but today will be the first full time he's riding in it for like 30 minutes to go pick up his new car. All right, so you guys might be asking me, what new car is he purchasing? And again, if you guys don't know who my brother is, he also owns that Mark V Supra that's super awesome. Um, he has a few other cars in his fleet, but the Mark V Supra is what you guys know him for. This car he's picking up, it's pretty cool, pretty special. Um, I guess you see a lot of these now on the road. Previously, he had his 2018 Honda Accord as his daily driver. He sold that car about a week back, and now he's here to pick up this new car, brand new car, off the showroom. So yeah, pretty excited about it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and make the drive to go pick up my brother, and then yeah, we'll go check out the car that he's picking up. Alright, so let's talk a little bit more about this car my brother's about to pick up. So, for the title of this video, not much of a surprise, but yes, it's an electric car. He's picking up a Tesla. So, you guys know in recent months, gas pricing kept going up. It's went down a little bit, but that really got my brother thinking, hey, gas prices keep going up. Um, plus, his Honda Accord, he had it since 2018, brand new. It's been four years now almost five actually he picked it up in november 2017 if i remember correctly so almost five years he loved that car but you know he's he decided it's just time to move on to better things so yeah i don't know exactly what spec tesla he's gonna pick up uh i do know it's a tesla model 3 so that should be pretty exciting uh he has no plans to modify it whatsoever plans is just a good old daily driver and just got the family house haven't seen my si in forever so right now I'm just going to go ahead and give it a cold start with the car. This might have been almost a month since I cold started it. And making it to family house means a Supra as well as my turbo Mitsubishi Lancer is here as well. I know you guys miss this car. A lot of you guys are huge fans of this build. So yeah, anyways, I'll probably make separate videos when I'm here at the family house about the other cars here. But this main video is about the new car pickup for my brother. So stay tuned, super excited. All right, so right now we're about to hit to pick up the new car. Go ahead and fire up the rally art, get the AC going. All right, so we just got over here to the Tesla dealership. I'm one of the few people driving a gas parked car here. And my thing is loud. <laughs> Anyways, brother's here at Tesla, pretty excited. I don't know what spec he got. Uh, I do know it's a Model 3, that's the only thing I know. And got a bunch of Teslas here. His car is ready, it's officially his, ready for pickup. So like I said, I have no clue what spec or what color, what he went with. So let's check it out. So we're just here waiting to pick it up. I don't know, what color do you guys think it is? Do you think it's a gray? Or is it a white or a black or red? I have a feeling it's probably yeah, white or gray. Feeling. And you do have to accept it on the Tesla app. Very um, cool. Yes. Welcome to the Tesla family. Very cool. And this dealership is so empty, so minimalistic. But yeah, the car is ready. We haven't seen it yet, so pretty excited to go check it out. Alright, so I'm gonna walk outside, check out some of the cars. Like I said, I don't know which car belongs to my brother. But... Oh, that's the performance. They have the carbon lip. How do you know? 
Oh. There's a carbon there. This so, is a upgraded drive. carbon. I think it's a uh, performance is dual, dual three, motor? 3.1 seconds, yeah, all-wheel drive means dual motor. Ah. It's 3.1 seconds, 0 to 60. And the sock wheels look like that? I think that's also a performance. Very cool. Electric cars everywhere. My gas power car doesn't fit in at all. Yeah. The car is already about to go ahead and check it out for the very first time. I was pretty happy. I'm happy for him too. Every time there's a new car, it's like super exciting. Currently it's super hot in the car. The Tesla F says 134 degrees Fahrenheit, which is crazy hot. So yeah, we're just gonna let it cool down. And the thing with uh, these Teslas, everything is uh, controlled by your phone, kind of like the remote control. So yeah, be able to cool it down, start up the car remotely. I knew it. It's a gray Tesla. <laughs> Very nice. So walk around. Nice and detailed. I see some tire shine. Alright, so first time checking out the car. The brothers. Car here. So, doors are like GTR doors. You press and you pull. About the black interior. Yep, and then, so you have a software update. Okay. Um, nice little moon. Yeah, I guess really hot. Is it normal? Yes. Wow. All right. So some of the photos here by the Tesla sign. Again, different colors: the red, the white, the black. I wasn't sure, but my brother picked the gray, which I think is a good choice. The white's just too common. So right now he's just going to bring me back to my car. Uh, I've rode along as well as driven Teslas before. But this one has the black interior which I know some people like the white but the white gets dirty too easy. Um, small little quirks like you can just adjust your control here for AC. Everything pretty much is powered through this iPad looking thing uh, as well as your phone. Even down to the glove box you can just pop it open. Pretty much everything you do it from here so very cool. Uh, but yeah, this thing needs tin ASAP. It's just it's a furnace in here. It's pretty hot. <laughs> um, and with this thing being an electric car, it shows you just like your phone battery how many percent of battery left. It's sixty four percent, so down two percent <laughs> from the fifteen minutes we're just hanging out here. But yeah, we're just uh, pretty much gonna play around with it. You have so many different modes on the Tesla, which is pretty cool. All right, so just playing around with the settings on the screen. And you don't get car keys in a Tesla, you get a little key card. So it's kind of like a hotel room key card, I guess that's the best way to describe it, like a credit card. Uh, it comes with two of them, it says Tesla on it. It's like a credit card. Is it metal? Yeah. It's plastic. plastic. Nice little card, you just place it right there. Or like I said, you get unlock your car using your phone remotely. So pretty cool. I mean, it's just very futuristic. And my brother was saying it pretty much doesn't doesn't feel like a standard car. It just it feels very futuristic. It's almost like in a spaceship kind of. Yeah, very cool. All right, so we have test driven Teslas before, but the process in a dealership is very different than a traditional dealership. Um, you pretty much get everything I think paid and done online or over the phone and once you get it done you can just essentially pick it up right away so no wait time which is good or bad some people like the whole customer experience um, before we take it home my brother's just gonna take in a little test drive because it's been a little while since he's driven a tesla <laughs> it's pretty quick the linear acceleration <laughs> it's pretty quick <laughs> If I upgrade it to like a longer range, all-wheel drive, that's actually three point. It's uh, about the Supra or faster than Supra speed. Zero, Zero to sixty. Yeah, three point eight or three point five. Ooh. Definitely under four seconds. Wow. Yeah, so pretty quick. Tesla card, very cool. 
Okay, no, I think actually well, quite nice. Feels it's quite cushiony because nice. the regenerative thing. You drive, you driven it before, right? Yeah. Yeah, it feels nice because it's gonna like, take four Tesla to gas station. Hello. <laughs> 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 I'm like, sure at some point on? I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> so first electric car. We'll probably do a little feedback video with the brother. Um, maybe in a few months once yeah. he's kind of got used to it to see what his thoughts are he still drives gas powered vehicles like the Supra and his truck so <laughs> definitely a nice little comparison <laughs> and back to the Tesla dealership after a quick little test drive so me my first time driving or what? <laughs> so yeah initially pickup was under a 10 but I guess we came a little bit later uh, <laughs> we're back to my gas powered rally art it's gonna head home all right. So, like I said, the irony: my loud gas-powered car versus my brother's electric quiet car. Okay, brother's first drive home in the Tesla. I bet he's super excited. <laughs> Still trying to get used to driving an electric car. Just got here to pick up some mango smoothie. Got the brother backing in in the Tesla. Checking out the front, the front trunk. We check out the back trunk earlier. Right here. Tow hook. <laughs> oh, the spare tires. Maybe there is no spare tire. One. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. Not sure. This kind of reminds me of like those supercars. Supercars usually have them. Smoothie. All right, just got our smoothies. Nice little treat. So both dailies beside each other. I'm saying the Model Three looks so much wider than the Rally Art. <laughs> yeah, all in all, brother drove it home. Pretty good. The only thing about Tesla owners is say you start to get range anxiety because as your range goes down, it's like your phone battery about to die. You get a little bit nervous. But yeah, pretty much pretty close to the house. So yeah, he's gonna be charging it and. I think over time we'll learn how long, how many miles this thing can drive. There's a bunch of hidden cameras, so there's like one right here, there's one right here. Uh, I forgot, there's like so many cameras in this thing, inside and out. Pretty sure there's back cameras hidden somewhere. And you can remotely look at the cameras from your phone as well, which is pretty cool. It's super high tech. And home sweet home for the Tesla. You can hear that engine with the electric sound. So apparently back then Teslas were so quiet that sometimes people don't even know a Tesla is driving. So I think this new thing now is they have to have some sort of sound so that people know that Tesla is driving by. <laughs> All right, Tesla made it in the garage. And I'm pretty sure the first thing brother's gonna do is get it charged. We have the wall charger here. Home sweet home for the Tesla. So we're gonna get to charging the Tesla. Tesla's first charge. Tesla's very first charge. It shows on the screen. Four hours and 30 minutes left to charge, 144 miles. So just made it back home. All in all, it was a really fun time. My brother and I are super excited to finally pick up the new car. So yes, the Tesla Model 3 now is in the household. So if you guys don't want to see any kind of videos on the Tesla, let me know. I know some of you guys are very curious about how the Tesla looks like, you know, questions about the Tesla in general. So any questions you have, leave it in the comment section below. But We'll be seeing more videos of it in the future. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe and notification bell so you know when new videos are out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.